Hey, hopefully we are live. I think I'm a couple of minutes early, so we'll let Fox come on and join us on this stream. Uh, live from the garage. I managed to get home early, so I didn't need to rip all the stuff open in the shop and just came back to where we were yesterday. Uh, lockdown for another three weeks. And I guess this is the time to start thinking about even more stuff uh, we can do uh, to prepare when we go fishing, uh, which I hope uh, won't be much longer. But we do have this three week extension to our lockdown in the UK, as you guys no doubt know. Uh, let's see who's joining us today. Adam's here. I uh, can see a bunch of people joining us at the top. Uh, we are going to tie some rigs and, and, and do some stuff. I'm going to show you some uh, some cool stuff with PVA bags and the bag loader and, and a bunch of different things. Uh, one thing um, that somebody said to me, he said, um, should you really be making PVA bags in advance? And that's not what I was getting at. Was I meant you could make up the leaders in advance. If you are going to make the PVA bags, I say do them, you know, maybe a day or the night before you go fishing, but certainly have them ready while you are fishing. So you've got a bunch in in in, in a box. So we are going to look at how to make this cool little spliced leader drop-off system to fish with an inline lead using these super cool swivels from Ridge Monkey. But we're not uh, recommending that you sort of have PVA bags sat there for months on end because the oils and different ingredients in the bait can ruin the PVA. So we'll go through all of that stuff in more detail. But I know a few people have been asking uh, questions in inbox. Uh, and just to clarify um, that from the outset, we are talking about pre-making your leaders, getting your rigs ready, getting all of this stuff ready, knowing what you're going to be doing, knowing what you put in your PVA bags. But when it comes to nearer the time, that's the time to actually start sitting down and making your first few. So as soon as you get to the lake, you're ready to go and I'm going to go through all of that stuff with you guys as we move into the next hour. Now I'm going to give you an update on orders and different bits and pieces and stuff we're doing at the shop uh, in a second and I'll let you guys know we're going to do one of the word searches on the Facebook page in about an hour's time right guys to give us enough time uh, to finish this live and then you guys can head on over to the Facebook page uh, which is just facebook.com forward slash carp dot global and on there there will be one of the crazy word searches where you can actually win a bait bundle right guys so I've put a bunch of stuff together already today I've spent a few hours working away on the computer and I've got some surprises for you I've got some stuff uh, to give away as well so if you stick around to the end and we go through this rig and I'll show you some cool stuff hopefully get the PVA bag into some water and in the next hour you guys are hopefully going to learn maybe just one thing maybe two things maybe a few things that are going to help you to achieve your fishing goals as you move forward once the lockdown's lifted how does that sound let us know at the bottom in the comments give us some likes uh, give us some hearts uh, let us know what you guys are up to as well uh, Danny Evans is here, uh, Paul Hardy, Neil Oliver's here, Daniel Mark Charlton's here, Steve Vale's here, Richard Best, uh, Danny Simpson, Ronnie Seed watching. If any of you guys have opened a support ticket, we will get round to all of them ASAP. And I am going to update you guys in a second just on the state of play because we have had some delays with deliveries after the bank holiday so if you are waiting on anything from us some stuff has been lost in the post uh, some stuff has been lost by apc and just delayed basically my friend uh, put up a picture earlier from somewhere in birmingham i'm not sure if it was his photograph or something he had off uh, the internet but it showed a royal mail depot uh, with literally thousands if not hundreds of thousands of parcels all in cages waiting to go with the caption that if you're looking for uh, your royal mail item the chances are it's here and i think there have been some delays at royal mail but there's certainly been delays at apc uh, we've had the emails sent, and indeed some people have had a card notification on the email but they haven't actually had the card through the door which is super frustrating so you didn't actually know that the driver has been he's, he's literally to say that he's carded you but you haven't actually had the card and anything like that even if the item turns up a few days later please open a support ticket let us know what 
and then we can forward this to APC. Admittedly, everybody's working under pressure. It's not easy. We've been uh, waiting on some stuff, uh, deliveries from Tracker and a few other companies, and these things have been lost. We've had the same situation where we've not had the card through the door, but we've sort of been, where's this delivery? And trying to get tracking numbers has been a nightmare. Some things are running slower, and I think the announcement the um, yesterday was the sort of, a thing that's going to knock things on a little bit further as well in people's minds. So people might have been thinking, oh, this, this thing might get lifted and we might be able to go back to normal. They might not have been uh, geared up for this additional extension. So I think after the bank holiday, some things have gone a bit crazy. So please just be patient. But like I say, if you are thinking something's missing or something's not right, something's broken, Open a support ticket. We will get round to you. We'll get these things out. We are doing our best to deliver as much as we can in these times. And, of course, if you are waiting on anything, just open that ticket. We will get back to you ASAP and we'll get it sorted. So, on this show today, like I say, we're going to do a word search on the Facebook page later on. So, I need to get on with this. I need to show you guys what we're going to do. Give me some likes. Give me some likes. Let me know if you're following along with this stuff. You'll see there's a big bunch of of different things that I've sort of pulled out my me tackle box and I'm going to show you some of these different bits and pieces some of it you've probably got and you know these are the first things that I've grabbed out of the box things that would sort of make up this rig but this is part of the important reason why we sort of make these at home in advance and you don't really want to be fiddling around on the bank especially if it's cold or you know your hands are wet or whatever because this stuff is a little bit fiddly so it's better to kind of get yourself on a, on a work surface or a bench or you know a board like i've got here so i can i can sit down and i can do this at the same time but we're looking to create i don't know if you guys can see this is the lead obviously so we've got a lead and in the bottom of the lead coming out this is an inline lead we've got a swivel popping out with a quick uh, release attachment so you, you can put your rig on there and instead of the line or the leader going through the lead what we've done is we've actually ran the leader around the outside right so this swivel is possible so normally what you would do is you get your line or your leader and you run it through the lead you tie on your swivel and you pull the swivel into the bottom bit right but in this case we've got this special swivel from ridge monkey which i'll show you guys here it's a special three-way swivel that enables you guys to create this awesome drop-off rig. Can you see that there's actually a ring? So there's three parts, right? There's a ring, there's the quick-release clip, and there is a swivel. So you guys can see how this works, right? If we go back to this model, what we've got here, basically, if I pull this to pieces, pull out this from the bottom, pull this off. Can you see how everything fell to pieces? This is what you're going to create. This is basically a spliced leader that you can make at home. So it's got a little loop at the end that you're going to splice in a minute. You know, you can make these as long or as short as you like. Uh, so they're easy to interchange. You can have them full leader length. Or if you're not allowed leaders on your leg, you can make them super short. This is just a, a, few, a little spliced loop in the end. It's a, a simple lead-free sinking leader. Uh, called Silk Ray from PB Products. I'll show you how to use it in a second. Onto that, we've put a little micro tail rubber from Rigmarole. You guys just threaded that basically on. So you can see how this is going, right? Anyone should be able to follow this. You see we've got the loop in the end, spliced in place, follow the leader down. Then you've got your tail rubber. And then at the end, we've spliced to the ring of the three-way swivel, right, guys? So when we put this together... You've got your little insert for your inline lead as normal that you normally thread through and your lead, right? So you, you put your little insert into your lead. That's pretty much how you would do it anyway. But instead of sending the line through, what we do is we get the little swivel of our three-way system. We plug that into the bottom there and we run the leader. See how this is nice and neat? Run the leader on the outside. Now, if this thing's too long, you can just chop through it. And I've got the PV products original uh, choppers, pliers, cutters, uh, however you want to describe them. These things are awesome. They'll cut through anything. You just chop off the excess. And I'm using the really small micro tail rubber from Rigmarole. So what you do is you just connect this on the outside. So that means if you're fishing in you know, a hole in the weed with your solid PVA bag, 
you're not going to have the difficulty of the weight holding you up once you've hooked a fish, right? Because all of this will just drop off. And once it drops, generally a fish will come up in the water. And not a lot of folks know about this rig because I've showed it about 20 times in the shop, showing people how to, how to do it. And I'm hoping that just even seeing this little bit of the video, you guys are going to be like, wow, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm not advocating dropping lead. Um, you can use this with the stone system inline. But obviously, leads are uh, the widely available weight at the moment, and clearly people are going to still use them. If you can use inline stones, that's even better for the environment. So that's the plug there. Um, and we sell stones, Polytrack stones in the shop. But this is the point. You're not having a lead with you sort of running up your line. Because if you think about it, no matter what you're doing, whether you've got a leader or whether you've got tubing or whatever it is, if you're fishing a general standard inline system, that lead is always going to be on the line. And if it does come free and the line pulls through, still attached, the fish is going to be pulling further up in maybe in the weed and the lead's going to be causing a problem. So as soon as you get a bite, this will generally disengage and it'll drop off dead easy, leaving you to fight the fish on this connection here. The only reason you've got this little swivel is to plug into the bottom of your weight. Does that all sort of make sense? So can you guys see the benefit, I'll check the comments in a second, of having this cool little drop-off system? Now, like I said, if you're not allowed to use leaders, my thinking is that you could splice the loop uh, quite close to the lead. And in fact, you could possibly connect this to your line and then put some tubing over the top of it and plug that into the tail rubber. So on first inspection, it's basically what you've done is created a lead clip. That's how I would see it because you're not actually having a big leader in the water. But it's important to check with the fishery, important to check the rules. But a lot of places, you know, certainly day tickets and places where I fish, they would allow this setup, they, they sort of advocate these kind of setups. It's super strong, it's super tough. The lead will come off under some force, as you can see. I put quite a bit of force onto that. But it's not just going to drop off on the cast. So you'd make sure that you've got your swivel everything's tight using the micro uh, tail rubber means that there's less resistance that's a preference of mine uh, you can use longer tail rubbers and cut the plastic um a little bit longer so that there is even more resistance so you've got a chance of uh, making sure that you always bring the lead in every time you, you reel in but in sort of general situations this will come back unless it gets stuck in the weed and you can cast it even if you you know if you're not using a pva bag it works as well but it's a super neat little system you can imagine we're just going to put the rig on the end of there a little bit of silicone over there into the pva bag or however you're fishing it but it's super neat it's super effective and it, it catches fish but it also ensures that you don't get caught up in the in, in the weed does that sort of make sense we'll see how, how, how to make one of these um lee saying that's the way how he does it um Daniel wants to make his own splices. We'll show you how to do that. Um, Three-way swivels, pretty awesome, uh, says Rob. Uh, these are the uh, swivels that you're looking for. They're in our shop. Uh, QC inline swivels. It's important you get the inline swivel right. On Ridge Monkey, if you go to the other side, there's actually a cord number. You can type that in to our shop. It's RM-T092. And if you type that in, it'll make sure you get the right one because there's quite a few QC and different types of swivels. But they're the swivel, that are about three, four quid. And, you know, you can get them uh, from the shop. But to make this thing, people sometimes are like, oh, man, I, I can't do splicing. I'm, I'm terrified. It's, like, scary. I've never done this thing before. Uh, let us know uh, in the comments if, you, if you're if you a sort of veteran in the game of, of, of splicing. But these things are super effective. I'll show you once we get the bag on uh, just what you need to be doing with this. But we're going to show you how to make one of these. There's about 100 people logged on. I'm not going to take too long because the word search starts in about 45 minutes. But this system, it's super safe, super effective. It casts. It's reliable. It's fish safe. It helps you get the fish out of the weed. And we're going to show you guys how to make one real quick. Um, we are live. So I have started the process a little bit. But this is uh, just a leader that I've been using uh, recently. This is Silt Rare from PB Products. All the PB Product stuff. Uh, it's all awesome. That's one of the baiting needles with the uh, built-in stripper at the bottom. You see the little thumb recess. It just sort of like feels right when you're using it. So all the PB Product stuff is super cool. And um, one of the other little tools that they've got is this super awesome little 
all thready. Now, if you guys are used to splicing with a splicing needle, this thing will just change your life. And if you're not used to splicing, this thing is the is the tool rather than the splicing needle, right? So it's just like a little wire thready. And you'll notice what we've done is we've actually gone inside of the leader core and literally pushed a bunch of leader now we have to do this again in a second so you see how it's done but we've pushed a bunch of leader onto the threading tool and port the little tool out of the other side so the idea is we can then pull this material back through on itself to create our loop and in there we can embed our little swivel right does that does that sort of make sense so you'll see what you do is get your leader make sure if it's lead core you take the lead out otherwise you won't be able to do it thread the threader through the center making sure that you don't sort of go out and back in and you'll pop out after you've, you've sort of done about an inch or so and what you do then is if you are putting a swivel on in this case we're doing here one here and we're going to do it the three-way qc swivel from ridge monkey we're just going to put this through the ring so like that, and then we'll kind of hold that off to the side so that stays out of the way for us. It's like dead simple once you've done it. And then all you need to do, obviously we are live, is you post this through the threader and then you basically pull this part through itself. Does that make sense? So you're going to pull the little bit here all the way through the leader. Right, so you see it starts to go in, and sometimes you've just got to sort of gently cork it over. But if you've looped it through the end of the, the threader, it should go all the way through like so. And because this is the splice on the ring, tie all the way down. And what we always want to do is just sort of like to avoid any last minute paranoia or worries that this thing's going to give way, which it won't if you've done about an inch or an inch and a half or so, is a bit of rig glue. What's this? $3.99. Super glue. Gardener have, have managed to get into the market with rig glue, but this stuff's super cool because you can just do a little drop of it like that on the end of the splice and then just pull all of that material over, making sure that you don't sort of stick your fingers together and this then you can cut that off at the end or it will sort of like leave a little bit of super glue inside that's what you're aiming for if there is any excess just get rid of it with your super sharp scissors and there should be a little bit of glue left in the end of this splice when you finish right guys so that gives you the security but we have in like what two minutes it's what break this is 45 pound lead core or in this case uh silk ray leader but that's on that swivel you've got on the uh, ring rather you've got the swivel sticking the bit of the lead and you've got the little quick change for your rig to go on in a second which is dead easy to do now you guys you can choose like i said the length of the leader that you want you can make them super short so no one can see them and tuck the tubing over them or you can make them super long uh, so you can use them um, like a full length leader maybe uh, 60 centimeters or whatever however long you you want it some people long some people short leaders lie flat at the bottom in a long leader um, some people argue that it might hurt the fish some lakes ban them everybody's got a different opinion but if you can use them i do think that they give you an advantage if you fish safe and you know you're not sculling the fish out, <laughs> out of the weed and you know you, nobody wants to cut a carp in half right so there you can see super tight effective knot and you can use that splicing technique for lots and lots of different things but we need to use it again because we need a splice in the other end so i'll just do a random length for the fact that i'm sat behind the camera so we have to do this uh, from the beginning now which is like the you know it does take a little bit of a, a second and i'm sort of like watching from behind the camera so i might have to take it off camera but what you do is you get your little wire and squeeze it together and then i'll sort of make the the incision off camera because i need to get it where i can see with this stupid light but i don't know if you guys can see now i've just literally nicked the skin of the leader and i'm just pushing the leader down onto the splicing tool now if you use a splicing needle you know that it's usually a nightmare and it pops through this thing from pb products just makes it happen and then what you do when you've done about an inch an inch and a half is you pop through the side now in this case we're just making a loop right guys so all we're going to do same again 
maybe you have to wet that or just flatten it down just to get it into the end of your little threader you don't need to pull you know like miles through like that you just want it literally there so it's just enough to grab it and pull it through otherwise you'll get like a big lump and it won't come through and then just gently corks that inside there's a risk that you can get a bit overzealous with it and pull the whole thing through as i might do in a second but you're just going to pull it through gently making sure you maintain your loop and then the little end you see how easy that is it's, it's pretty easy right who, who thinks that that's like making splicing easy your little drop of glue again and just pull the whole thing over without sticking your your fingers together right and that's actually inside there's no little end to cut off that's the better of the two the glue will hold it in place so your uh, loop won't slip there's your little loop and all you need to do guys is have another loop in the end of your main line so when you reel in you just take one leader off and put another one on you just do it by threading the loop from your main line through this one and then put the PVA bag through the loop of the main line. Pull them both together in a loop-to-loop -loop knot. And it'll just hold together and never break. And there's your little leader ready to be loaded up with your lead. So you've got your leader ready. You move this out of the way. And we're ready to sort of move on to the next stage. And remember... What we had in the first one in the model, we've got the swivel, which we've now attached. So you guys can see we've done that part. But the next bit was to have a tail rubber on, right? So I use these micro uh, tail rubbers from Rigmarole and just going to use the, the needle from PB products again. Go through the thin end, dead simple. You don't want to fray... You might want to use a latching needle, but if you do it like that and get it right into the groove, you can just get this on without fraying and then get that off again without damaging any of this. If you ever damage it, change it. You, you don't want to risk uh, losing a fish because you've, you've, you've damaged it. But that now is kind of ready to rot, right? So you can see what we've done. We've put the tail rubber on. We've got the swivel. And, of course, we're in a position then to get with lead. Dead simple. Put this thing together. Do it whichever way you want. There you go. All plugged in. Make sure everything's nice and neat. And it's ready to go. Now, if you measure these things or you use the same amount of bread, it should come out the same you know, same size every time. Kind of important to be consistent. Uh, these are, are random. But you can just see, you know, what, what's that taking? Five minutes. It's like five minutes work. You've made you know one of these you just spend an hour doing these do the maths you've got enough of these then because you shouldn't really be losing them right it's only the lead that's going to come off or the weight that's going to come off so you know that you only need to make so many but how cool is it to have these ready in your box ready to rock ready to go with a bag already on that you can make the night before or a few days in advance so when you go fishing you know you've got your rods ready to go ready prepared and then once those rods are in you can sit down and you can make a few more knowing that as soon as you get a fish you can leave it in the net quickly loop to loop knot cast a new rod out you know you know your wraps get your wraps mark up back to your spot and you should hopefully get another fish within quick succession right so it's a super cool way to fish the inline um lead and it's even better when you fish it inside a, a, a pva bag right so what we want to do is I'm really quickly going to create a rig for the PVA bag. Now, nothing special. I'm uh, just going to use some uh, sinking bread. This is really supple. Uh, it's important to use a supple uh, bread when you're doing a PVA bag. Now, I'm just going to take a little bit of the bread off. This is uh, Gardener's Trickster. It's really supple, really heavy. Sinks like a stone. But any bread that matches that description from any brand will do the trick. Again, really sharp scissors for bread and what we're going to do is just do a loop in the end for our bait stop basically which is like as simple as rig as ever we're not going to do any fancy whippings or twistings or anything like that just bend the sort of the loop around itself use your baiting needle to go through and pull the loop back through itself and what you can do then is get a really small 
loop so you don't end up with your knot halfway down which then just looks bad um make sure you trim off the end but the baiting needle trick is a great way of just tying a, a loop that's easy to do and manageable especially if your hands are cold or you you know you you're shaking a little bit you've just had a fish um you know you whatever so you've got to be able to do things quickly and using the baiting needles little trick that I've, you know, I've done that for years trim off the end make sure you put it in the rubbish as well don't just discard it i'll clean up afterwards there you go little tiny loop at the end and then what we're going to do on the other end of the braid i just need to wet this a little bit in my mouth so i don't end up with like little fibers sticking out i'm just going to get a little bit of silicone a little tiny bit of silicone hopefully i can get this up needle might need the baiting needle in a second nope it's gone through so it's, it, sun is shining on, on this rig today sometimes you could be there for 10 minutes pull your silicone down a little bit and then i'm just going to grab a uh, hook being in the in the box i love the hand sharpened uh, muggers albeit i would say possibly don't use hand sharpening a pva bag um, these were the first ones that I, I managed to grab hold of and I'm, I need to go through another bag This is just based on where I was fishing last but the super sharp um, Curved a little bit or quite aggressively to be fair as a mugger um, it will hook the fish and In the sort of mess of the PVA bag bits of particles and stuff everywhere You know, you don't want the hook to sort of bounce out. So this sort of works really well I've caught loads of fish doing this stick the point through uh, the silicone remember put the loop at the bottom then thread your silicone on the point goes down towards the loop uh, sometimes if you wet the point a little bit be careful not to stick it in your in your tongue and then just put that in but don't go past the barb with the silicone right so if you go past there there's a problem before you do that what you need to do is hold the silicone and just pull the braid down a little bit because sometimes the point goes through the braid which cause you a problem and then go over the barb and hopefully if you, you might need to pull it down again to make sure the points not split the braid right but hopefully you can do it so the braid and the, and the hook are, are not combined in any accidental way so you've not gone through the fibers of the braid with the hook, like three fibers with the hook point but if you bring that round a little bit and then all we're going to do is set the length of the hair so for a pva bag generally i want quite a long hair um, so that when uh, the fish picks it up the silicone will just move out of the way and the hair can blow out of the way as well with the weight of the bait now everybody's different i'm not going to get into rig mechanics um might take a little bit more time to get these more precise uh, you can use the rig gauge or whatever and think about the size of hook baits you're going to use sometimes you're using a small sometimes you're using a bigger bait whatever you're doing this is just for sort of demo purposes but a bit of silicone of a sort of hook you're using think about your rig but you want the soft braid you want it to be simple you don't want to mess around knotless knot through the back whip round you know the procedure guys there's loads of videos on on youtube show you how to do the basic rigs pva bag rigs come in different shapes and sizes but on the whole piece of braid quite short keep it simple that potentially will do you might want to add shrink tube or a little kicker or something like that to the end of it just to give it a little bit more turn but a mugger um is you know efficient it will you know it won't mess around it's straight in the fish's mouth they can't really you know deal with it it's gonna take hold hand sharp and look it's stuck straight in my thumb i just flicked it and that is super sharp right guys so once it's in it's in and the weight combined with the sh relatively short distance and the fish has just had a big mouthful of food it means that you know there's a lot of things working in your favor you've stacked the odds in your favor one other little thing that i like to do which i know lee eason's watching a few people have seen me doing this and craziness um i caught um a 40 and quite a lot of other big fish doing this you see that the hook is kind of glinting a little bit in the sun this is a special pen and if you paint your hook literally some people might who's got time for that but trust me that little glint in a pressured water can be all it takes to get rid of that fish out of your swim and by colouring the hook in green or brown there's different colours you can get these online I can't find where otherwise I'd sell them but that's a little tip uh, something that I do don't put too much on because it can stick the hair to the the hook uh, which is a problem but look in you know less than what 20 minutes because we did the update at the beginning uh we've managed to do the rig the leader the lead everything's ready to go but it's important to do these at home right otherwise this is like 20 minutes where you could be watching the water you could be 
you know, as soon as you land and you swim, you need to get your rods out, right? And if you've got time, unless it's like really bad weather, having these pre-prepared, ready to the your exact specifications, especially tweak them as well for your water. You've got to catch some fish on these things, right? It might be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than everybody else, but you've got to get it right for your water. Finish the rig off just with a um, figure of eight loop knot. On the back, you can use the baiting needle again to pull it through or go straight through. Just mess. Don't, don't mess around. Just get a little bit of sliver on there and just wet it down. You see the eight? Pull it tight. Clip off the end. It's a super effective braid rig. Sinks. Uh, blends in with all the stuff that goes in the PVA bag. You can't really argue with the mugger. It's turned over already in my finger. You've just seen it. It's caught me again there. It's like... You can't really get simpler, but it just sticks in pretty much anything. If this goes in a fish's mouth, it'd be hard for the fish to get rid of it, right, guys? And it's just such an effective rig. Longer than normal hair for some people. So, like, I use the hair so long. But, yes, it's it's important. And just to finish that off with your hook bait of choice, whatever you're doing, and to attach it to our awesome little leader, just use one of these little silicone sleeves. And if you just cut yourself a little bit off, you can get quite a few rigs out of one sleeve. Uh, just put one of these over the end of the rig. Don't forget, you can watch this on replay. I know we're, we're moving through this stuff pretty quick. But you can watch it on replay, you can pause it. And it is pretty much self-explanatory once you've done it a few times. Leaders, inline leads, three-way swivels, and then whatever PVA bag rig you choose... Obviously, a little bit of silicone, and that just goes into the third and final piece of our little swivel. And Ridge Monkey, I've designed this in a way where you see the little bit of metal doesn't stick out. You know what I mean, right? So that means you don't wreck your silicone when you want to take it off. And that is super neat, super effective, super sharp, just right for our PVA bag. On reflection... Might be a little bit too long, uh, but it's weird looking at it through this this camera lens. So experiment with the size of the rig. But look, that's sinking to the bottom. The lead is keeping everything out of the way. You can interchange them real quick. You can pre-prepare them. It's like, you, you, how many rigs do you actually need? And, you know, the CVR rig's great for pop-ups. This is great for the, the solid bag. What else do you need to go out there and, and get some fish? So for the, the bag itself... In this case, I put some stuff in it yesterday, which we've just accidentally tipped all over the place. I'll use that in a minute. But this is a PVA bag on the PVA bag loader. So we're just going to roll the loader up, put it into the bag, and do very nice, nicely open up our PVA bag. Now, this was a bunch of dried insects that I'd used this, uh, yesterday, and we could put that stuff back in to give a little bit of weight to the bottom just keep this stood up and then we can add the rest of the goodies so you see there that that's just standing up i just want to put an up bait on and just for um speed i'll just grab these new solar club mix baits which i can't wait to get out and use come with a little amino which is awesome as soon as you open it it's just like oh man i want to go fishing give me some likes and arts if you guys want to go fishing <laughs> that's so crazy um great little uh hard hook baits and i'm just going to do this for the very effect fact that we are putting a hook bait on now you guys can trim these down you can you know hook nearly went in my hand you can change uh, your hook bait you can chop and change throughout the session you can do uh, what you need to do to match the hatch fit the surroundings but just put that on there now for show and we can put a boilie stop in there and just pull everything tight so we've got our bait on our hair maybe a little bit shorter maybe a little bit longer but really that is deadly there's, there's not a great deal that a fish can do once it picks that up the length of the hair the turn the aggressive angle of the hook whether you put shrink tubing on or you don't the silicone will get out of the way the braid you know everything in there you've stacked the odds in your favor the lead the weight everything there it should nail them and if you mix this with the right ingredients in your pva bag then you've created something that's literally easy to cast 
presents the bait, it does everything you need, stacks those odds, and hopefully catches you a fish or two. So the first thing I like to do is put the lead in, and you can just lower that down to the bottom. Dead simple. Good thing about the bag loader is you can see into the bag loader, and if you look on a lot of PVA bags, they've actually got a seam. I like to put the lead down the, the length of the seam, so I know where to cut. Um, if I am going to just lick and stick, or in this case, we can use a zip tie. But that's how I sort of start off. I've got the rig hanging out of one side. Could have done a slightly shorter rig, uh, but I have caught with longer and I've caught with some weird rigs in PVA bags. But that's just set up, ready, out of the way. And we can just use some bag mix to cover the lead, uh, first of all. And you notice the lead's on one side. That means that the bait will sort of sit upright prominent in the water the leads at this side of the bag uh, put in and we're actually going to keep the lead at this side if you get the pva bag loaded there's actually a divider that comes with it but we can just do it with our finger because i'm using an oily bag mix to sort of make a slope in the bag uh, you do this real quick when you're fishing as you can see and then we want to kind of so Maybe you put that down with your finger or poke it down with um, a boiling needle, whatever. But just hang your rig in there. You can cover it with a little bit more bag mix. You know exactly where your hook bait has been placed because you can just place it there, right, guys? See how, how awesome that is? And if you need to reposition it or reposition the hook, you can do that without any messing around. So we'll put that in. We'll position it. It's all perfectly set up in with in with PVA bag. We like that. We we look at it. We think that's great. Add a little bit of different consistency to your bag. You can do different layers with the bag loader. Don't go over the red line. And if you want to add some liquid attractant, you can do. Just make a little well in the center. Uh, pour your liquid in. The bag loader makes it super easy to put liquid in. You can't do this in... I don't think any other bag loader, to be honest, because you've got to keep hold of it. So think about that. You can add your liquids, you can add your syrups, you can add all of that stuff, whatever you want. You can finish off, maybe you can put some pellets in there. We've got some um, insect protein, different things that we can add. These are little CC Moore insect protein pellets. I won't use too many of those for the demo. But we've very quickly made a PVA bag with our leader. Everything's in there. Hook bait's positioned. Just pull the bag loader out. from. Just support the bag. And as soon as it gets above there, just releases out of the way. And you've got a perfectly filled, ready-to-rock PVA bag that you can either zip tie or you can lick and stick. Now, if you're going to do the lick and stick, which I'll show you in this instance, you can use the uh, castaway cable ties as well. I'm not going to open the packet. This is why I put the leader over one side. What we do is go down the opposite side with the scissors. Like that, and make a little cut. And be like, oh man, why are you doing this? Trust me. Uh, get your head, your ends together like that, and then just keep the leader out of the way with your hand, so you're never going to twist the line in your knot. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? So the leader just stays out of the way. You can twist that really tight, but what you do is hold it at the bottom of the knot, and then let go so you don't end up with a big blob of PVA, and it needs to be twisted like once. And once you've got that one twist, you know where your lead is coming out. Lick this end, which I'll kindly do off camera. And remember when you're sort of fixing a, a bike puncher, right? And it, you need it to go sort of tacky. That's what the effect that you're hoping for, and you're just then going to pull that lick to over the bag and hopefully you've licked it enough and not too much and that will just stick now i think this bag's been exposed to the air for quite a while so it's not the best bag but it will stick i'll just hold it down for a for a short while and then we can just squeeze the bag to give it some shape we know where the lead is the other side, sort the corners out just by pushing the corners up like this and then all of that air in the corner, you can compress that out and then you can lick and stick the corners and along the bottom of the bag as well to neaten it up and to aid with casting, which is kind of important because you want your bag to be aerodynamic. So I've just 
taken this off camera. Lick and stick. And pretty much the perfect bag. Now, there's just one final bit. Opposite the lead, you can feel the weight of the lead. You, now, you can squish this down to make it a little bit more round. As burst a little bit of the seam at the bottom, it is an older bag. Probably lick that and stick that down, to be honest. PVA, you can stretch it. It's quite stretchy, so don't be afraid of stretching it once you're you licking and sticking. That's sealed most of the hole at the bottom and then they can just get the rest of that seam to stick down you see how you can kind of repair it but if you do wet it too much you you sort of you're doomed so you don't want to over wet it. it's kind of an art um to make sure that you've not over wet your, your pva bag but the, in this case the lead is the dominant weight in the bag so you know that the lead is at the bottom by the way it sort of rolls and opposite the lead straight through here without cutting through the braid which in this case i can see just want to create one hole on the opposite seam and that one hole will be sufficient to hopefully let the air out the weight will go to the bottom you've got your leader and you can pre-prepare these the sort of two days before you go fishing but you can do your leaders and your rigs and everything ready to go now so you've got like 10 leaders in your bag ready to go you get 10 swivels in the pack 10 tail rubbers you'll easily get 10 leaders off a roll of, of leader material now's the time to be doing that bit get your inline leads and all the rest of the stuff and then hopefully you can do super tight pva bags that cast the same every time and if you remember what you put in there and fill up to the same line every single time on your loader you like your rigs the same length your leaders the same length your hairs the same length your baits the same you see how it's layered you can layer it the other way, so the denser baits around the lead and the, the lighter insects and stuff are around the hook bait. Now, I don't recommend just putting the insects in dry. I sort of did that for effect. Only put a few in because they will float, uh, but you can mix them with a glug. And once you've done that, they will absorb a bit of glug, but that's really messy. Um, this is kind of like how I would do it on a demo. You can see there, you can lick and stick that little corner just to get rid of any sort of risk that this is you know going to cause you a problem when you cast or land wrong and if you're fishing in deeper water double bag uh, <laughs> there's a joke about that somewhere i'm sure um double bag your pva bag because by the time it gets to the bottom it just be a lead and it won't be off as effective so we will see this in the water give us some likes give us some hearts uh, let us know at the bottom. I can't see any comments. I need to see what's going on. Hopefully this is useful. Um, I'm going to show you this in the water. I'm going to give away some stuff. Uh, so give me some likes and likes if you guys want to win some stuff from this. Then we've got the word search coming up at half past five. And I've got a little surprise for you and something else as well. It's super cool. So I'm just going to take this over to my... And hopefully the lead lands at the bottom which it has done and we can hopefully see this will just land straight away in your swim and it'll hit the bottom and if there is liquid in there the air pocket in the middle where the liquid is it'll, it'll also start to bubble out before the bag starts to break down like i said this is an old bag um, so hopefully it will work it's been on that pva bag loader for a few days to say the least but you can see it is starting to uh, rupture generally pva bag uh, in colder water which this is straight from the tap um will take a while to to break down uh, but as you can see the insects and all of the goodies are starting to part uh, you can see that the bag's actually floated off to the surface which is is kind of useful because uh, that gets it all out of the way so if i get rid of the the stuff that would have clearly floated away you guys can hopefully see what we're left with and maybe could have done to position the boilie a little bit better uh, but you can see there the bait the rig totally unmasked and totally ready to nail that fish obviously things are going to move around on the water and when little fish do come past and they do start to attack this you notice you've not seen the lead yet that's like under all of this stuff but you'll see depending on what you put in there you will get different effects different clouds um lots of different ways 
of um, using these bags to your own advantage. And now, obviously, once you reel in, you just take off this leader and you should have another bag on another leader ready to go, ready to launch out to that same spot, clipped up, straight back on the fish, straight back on the money, and hopefully another one in the net because, let's face it, when we get out there, it's, like, going to be crazy. Everyone's going to want to fish and want to make the most of the time that we've got on the bank and every minute that those rods uh, in the water, I think, for the better. So, look, we've got a word search coming up. Uh, let us know at the bottom what you thought of that. I'll pick a couple of comments and give away some bits and pieces uh, from the tackle selection that we've got here. I've got some bits. These are from my own personal uh, stash. Uh, so I can give away one of these PB products needles. Uh, maybe give away some rig glue. Uh, let us know at the bottom in the comments uh, why you should win some stuff. And if you guys, if it's all right, if you guys actually want to get the bundle of all of this stuff put together... I've put that bundle together on uh, the, the shop and I can make that available if enough of you guys want it. It's not available yet, but it's it's kind of ready to go. I just need to push a button. Let me know at the bottom if you guys want to get a bundle and I'll chuck in loads of goodies and extras. Uh, it's probably like 150 quid's worth of stuff. Um, you can get your hands on all of that, but I need to know if you want it. I need to know if you want to win some stuff. I need to know if you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Um, everyone's going crazy at the bottom. <laughs> this is a Danny stash. Um, if you want to win this stuff, if you guys want to have a, have a look at the bundle on the shop, I need some likes, I need some hearts, I need you guys to go crazy at the bottom and let me know um, if you guys want it. And give away some bits and pieces uh, from uh, the selection here as well, just for the fact that we're locked down for another three weeks and we love uh, giving stuff away at Cart Global. Um, <laughs> Lee wants the cutters, they are awesome. And, and PV Products, uh, Jonathan will contest that these are the original uh, that have been copied uh, by lots of other companies and they, they literally will cut through anything. And the Super Sharp and Stair Sharp for, for ages, whichever, you know, whether we send you a bag loader or whatever, all of this stuff's useful, right? And all you need is one bag in the right place to catch that, that personal best. So let me know at the bottom. Uh, Steve Rook, it was his birthday. I'll send you something filling the prize claim, buddy. Um, Jamie Prudence, you can fill in with prize claim as well. If you don't know what we're talking about, Nobby will explain uh, what to do. Uh, Jamie Prudence, I'll send you uh, some bits and pieces as well. Um, if anybody wants to just order all this stuff, and you, you do, and ever can see Barry and Martin and a bunch of people, everyone wants to do it. I'm going to put it available on the website, but what I've done is created, because I, admittedly this is like there's like 150 quid's worth of stuff. I'm not going to charge 150 quid. I've done a deal on the website. I'll tell you what you're going to get in a second, but I've also done something cool. I've put together a mystery bucket that is starts at a tenner that will include some of this stuff. So, like, you could pay a tenner and you might get the, the, the pliers, the bucket, the form, you know, some goodies, whatever. It's going to like that kind of thing. Or you could pay a little bit more. But the main deal, you're going to get the silk ray. You're going to get the... What else are you going to get? You're going to get the threader. You're going to get the uh, quick change swivels. You get the uh, micro tail rubbers. Uh, you get the rig glue. You get the braid. Uh, you get the hand, uh, hand sharpen hooks. You get the silicone. You get the hair stops. Uh, you get the cutters. You get the rig tools. Uh, you get the PVA bags and the cable ties and the leads. Uh, and I'll give you a Shimano pouch to put it all in. Uh, that was an aqua pouch. I'll give you a Shimano pouch to put it all in. The Shimano pouch is over there. Um, or an aqua pouch uh, worth 22 quid. Uh, the total value of all of that is about 113 quid. But what we'll do as well is we'll give you the bag loader. We'll give you the hook baits. We'll give you the bag mix. We'll give you the glug. We'll give you the insects and the pellets. So you can just kind of go and do all of that. All of that together is worth about 145 quid. You can have it all for 97 quid. It's on the shop now. If you're like, oh crap, 97 quid and we're locked down. I get it. I've put some mystery buckets on there for a tenner. And we've got a word search starting where you can win a bunch of this stuff as well and a bait bundle uh, from what I've shown you today. So there's plenty of ways you can win it. I've given away a few bits and pieces on here as well. The deal's on the site. But here's a little twist for you. First five orders will get extras and one of the mystery buckets will contain everything if you might want to get the the full bundle and the mystery bucket it's entirely up to you but wherever you are whatever you want to do there's a chance to win i've given some stuff away there for free hopefully this video helps you 
if you do want the full bundle, which I know I'm going to get an inbox, it's available on the shop now. And you get all of that stuff worth about 150 quid. Uh, you need to pay the postage. Please don't use a discount code, but I've kept the postage super low. You get all that stuff for 97 Or you can get a mystery bucket, which might include, and you know what we're like. You've seen the orders this week. We've been putting everything in them. Um, we'll stack a bunch of stuff, as much as I can give you for your money. So everybody can in with a shout. Everybody's got a chance of, of going in. Remember, stay safe, stay at home we've got a word search starting on with facebook page soon you guys can check out the goodies on the shop right now first five people will get extras in their order as well just to make it a little bit more fun and we're obviously going to carry on doing this for as much as we can uh keep going i was sent out a few bits today more stuff will be going out on monday if you are affected by any postal delays uh drop us a support ticket let us know we will get back to your asap word search is starting soon let us know if you enjoyed uh this video um neil's here keith's here john wesley's here <laughs> we should have the cash um like i say it's not about um everybody needing to buy this this these bits are all available from the shop as well so you can buy the little bits if you do need little bits and like i say a lot of people have got the leaders and the hooks and you know super glue you, you might not have the, the zip ties but you know you, you'll be able to put this stuff together the 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 little thread is a fiver all of these bits combined the the do add up as we know with carp fishing in general but you can mix and match uh, to make your own version of this rig i'm sure and we're happy to help people and if you do need any help uh, you can use Kleiner and things like that to spread payment so you can talk to us on the phone we'll see what we can do for you um the deal is on the website for all of it or mystery buckets from a tenner uh, we are doing a word search to win a bait bundle of, of different bits and pieces maybe some uh hook bait some solar in there and like i say all these bits are available separate video you can watch again uh rewind it and and go through that at your own pace hopefully you can produce some good bags and you get out there and you, you smash these goals as we move forward uh we're going to do more videos uh like this and like i said there are more things uh that we will be doing um as we move forward check your email avengers look out for something special coming soon as well a uh, big shout uh to anyone who's ordered this I can see a few orders have come in uh that's awesome we're going to get this out to you next week and we will um may need to order a few of these bits in depending on how many people order uh but we appreciate any orders that do come in keeps us going uh keeps us able to do this kind of cool stuff uh but the main thing right now is you guys go and get your leaders out uh get your pva stuff out or maybe have a think about what you're going to do going forward but when we get back the weed's going to be up in the venues pva bags presented in the weed great way to get yourself off the mark uh sooner rather than later all of this stuff um, is just one means to an end and you can substitute it for what else you've got in your tackle box we appreciate you go and check out the word search as well uh, the person who gets the most answers right across the game uh, will win a big bait bundle so we'll get that sent out to you asap if you have won something uh, fill in the uh, prize claim form and we'll get you sorted as fast as we can uh, but for now from eat, eat i will see you on monday from the next live avengers look out for something asap as i say i'll put an update in your group uh, see loads of people have jumped over to the shop site now this video will be available to view uh, for as long as you need it to do along with loads of other live streams uh, i've done hours and hours and hours of live streams fully appreciate you watching guys fully appreciate you logging in stay safe wherever you are and stick around at home uh, there'll be a lot more fun stuff to do as we move uh, any questions open a support to keep we'll get back to you but for now i'll see you guys on the next video see you later guys bye bye